you don't know. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is just a week in the wear of my wash and go video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you kind of from day one me doing the wash and go and then kind of take you through the days and how long I'm able to wear this wash and go. I'm very thorough in my crochet hair content if you follow me for that. So why not be as thorough in my natural hair content? There's a lot of, you know, content out here on wash and goes where you see somebody perform the wash and go and you see how it looks like at the end of the day but you don't know how it looks like at the end of the week and that's what today's video is about it's about showing you how a wash and go can perform after several days of wear using the products that I use in today's video now to see how I put those products to good use just keep watching so I've already gone in with the Tolio IG clean and curly hydrating shampoo and so what I have in right now up under this cap is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. And now I'm going to head to my steamer. And so now I'm going to get under my steamer. Now this video was filmed right after I took out my locks. So I had in those locks for seven weeks. And I would have loved to actually go to my stylist after I took out those locks. However, with Rona, she's booked for the next few months. So I decided that it was best for me and that I needed to at least steam treat and give my hair some added hydration because it had been in that protective style for so long so I start with my cap kind of all the way on I then transition to taking the cap off halfway and then I fully take the cap off towards the end don't know why I do it this way. I've never seen anybody do it this way. It's just the way I do things with my steam treatments. I guess it's because I don't want to hit it fully with steam, you know, right off the bat. I want to kind of gradually work its way up to getting that steam because it is a little warm. It is a little toasty uh, with that steam hitting my hair. So now I am back after washing out that conditioner from my hair and while I was in the shower of course I applied my leave-in conditioner and it is the kinky curly not today natural leave-in and detangler. I love this product. Now for the only other product uh, that I'm going to really use in my hair other than some oil I'm, I'm going to apply oil first and for oil I'm going to use the Talia YG protective styles bamboo and coconut milk growth oil. Um, so that's what I'm going to apply next. So I'm going to do leave-in oil and then I'm gonna go in with my gel now this is probably the last video that I'm gonna really highlight this product but you guys should know I loved my wet line gel I filmed a whole bunch of videos in what April and then I posted them in like June and I got a lot of comments in my video months later which was after the fact of filming that they don't even make this anymore so it's like y'all can't even buy the green lid one they switched over to the blue lid one um, so this is the gel that I'm gonna use today now and the difference between the two I guess is this provides more extreme hold now I do have 3c4a hair I have low porosity so that is mainly why I love my steam treatments and I love applying my leave-in detangler in the shower that's what kind of works best for me and my low porosity hair now having said all that let's just hop in and I'm gonna be applying that oil this is the first time I've ever applied oil first if you guys have watched my video I typically just do leave-in then the wet line and then after after it's dried I go in with the oil to cut down on that crunch factor or that little bit of I guess stiffness that the hair can have when you apply it but some of you guys said you actually put the oil on first and it kind of combats it off rip so you don't have to do it after the fact so we're gonna see if that actually works today so I'm starting by detangling my hair I do detangle while in the shower with that not today leave-in in but I do also do it out of the shower as well. I like to be extra sure that my hair is super detangled because detangling helps the look. Then I go in with that Talia Wajid growth oil and I apply that to my hair and then I go on with my next product which is that wet line extreme. Now this did smell a little different than the original gel but not in a bad way and the consistency also feels kind of the same and looks the same as the OG wet line gel. 
Now you all who follow me know I like to do the shingling method. So after I apply that gel, I go in and shingle my hair. And what that just involves is wrapping the hair around my finger. There are several methods to do your wash and go. You can just, you know, leave it as it is after you apply the gel. You can rake or you can shingle. Shingling is my preferred method. Yes, it does take a wee bit longer, but I do always like the results I get. In the future, I would love to showcase a wash and go where I don't shingle just to see the differences between the two. So I'm just going to continue this process all throughout my hair and it normally takes me no longer than an hour to complete this process in full. I'd say it's about probably 50 minutes. I typically listen to a podcast as I'm doing this and it never lets me finish a full podcast, an hour long podcast. I never finish it in this process. So again, it doesn't take me a long time and I feel like that's adequate for the amount of time I typically can get out of my wash and goes. Now the one thing I will say is with this wash and go, I feel like I really really wish I could have gotten to my stylist right after I took out that crochet hair because my hair does feel a little bit drier than it typically does after I do my treatments. I wish I could have seen a professional just because wearing a protective style for seven weeks not having seen my stylist for I think four months four or five months I think it would have done really well with some professional hands in my hair right after just giving it the treatment and love that it needs and especially the trims that it needs but I digress. Um, I do feel like like I might could have used a deeper or another conditioner as well. Um, I, not that I hate that Camille Rose. It's just that I don't feel like it's done uh, for me what my TGIN deep conditioner or my really Shea Moisture Manuka Honey deep conditioner typically does for me. So after I get done finishing up, I then part my hair in the way I want it to fall. It's important to do this step while wet because you do want it to dry the way you are going to actually intend on wearing it. Although it can be switched up after the fact and you will notice that as I wear this style, I don't wear it in the same left side part that I typically always do. And while I do that or after I do that, I go in and scrunch my hair up. I don't use a diffuser. I don't use a hand blow dryer. Don't sit under a dryer. I do let my hair air dry, especially with it being, you know, summer, super hot. It can pretty much air dry within the same day. So that is what I'm going to do. So now I am back. It is about... I'd say eight hours later and my hair is completely dry and this is what it is looking like. I'll have to say, I don't know how I feel about this wash and go. Now again, up in camera, this is what it's looking like. This is kind of my curl definition here. The sides, I tucked it behind my ear because this side, I just don't like that. I don't know. You guys, if you watch my most recent wash and go, I'll link it up above. I really liked it and I like the progression of it from day one to day five. And I'm going to do the same thing in this video. But I think already on day one, it's looking like how it looked at day three in that video. And that's concerning because I'm thinking I'm not going to get the longevity about it. Now, this is a completely different routine than my last routine. I think I used three new products in the sense that I use the Camille Rose deep conditioner for the first time ever. I put the oil on beforehand and I used a new wet line and I'm confused as to what changed the dynamics so drastically than the last I'd say few wash and goes that I've done. My last few wash and goes have looked kind of similar. There is a lot of volume going on with my hair right now which is awesome. Who doesn't like volume? Volume I talked about in my last video is the thing I love but I feel like I love it like towards day three, four, five, as opposed to day one, because if it's already voluminous day one, I already feel like I'm not gonna get the stretch of the five day. It can only get bigger. But again, that's my initial reaction to this washing gum. We will see how it looks tomorrow, which will be day two right now. So now I am back. It is day two with this wash and go. And last night I went to bed a little disappointed because I thought it was a fail. I thought it was gonna be a flop. I really wasn't feeling the results first day quite honestly it just felt too it felt too big and it really I like I said in my yesterday thoughts I felt like it was gonna go downhill very fast and that's not what I want but day two 
look at this get into this i did a middle part because it was looking a little too full with my normal you know left side part i just was looking too I don't know lopsided so I decided to go middle and it looks actually really good with the middle part like I, I, I'm not a normal middle parter not a big fan of a middle part but I actually like it now there's four things that you know great natural styles are typically evaluated on whether you have the length the volume the moisture and the definition now I definitely think definition is there so um, there is some places where the definition is a little lackluster and I am going to attribute that to the fact that I haven't done a natural style in about seven weeks and my hair was in a protective style for a minute so I think my hair is getting adjusted to being back kind of outside the element so it's uh, lacking some definition in some key areas moisture it feels very soft I did not have to put oil on after the fact like I did when I typically do the uh, wet line first method so I do like the fact that it is very soft and uh, it definitely feels very moisturized so loving that um, in terms of length I think it's longer than it typically is on the second day correct me if I'm wrong but typically my second day isn't that long I mean of course sh shrinkage is real I get a lot of comments like your hair's a lot shorter than I thought it was and you guys have to realize my hair is like curly if it were you know straight it definitely would go a lot longer it'd definitely be longer in some places so I think length for it to be in its curly state is really good and then volume final thing um, I think it has a very good volume about it I'm really impressed with second day volume because typically the volume doesn't come to day three or four with my wash and goes it's very much so defined first day defined second day losing a little bit of definition that third day but I think it is really cute now again I would be interested to see how it's going to go you know day three day four day five and of course I'm going to bring that to you guys but first I want to show you guys what my nighttime routine is I show this in every video I pretty much probably going to stop doing this after a while because I think it should be pretty obvious what I do but nighttime all I do is pineapple my hair so pull everything to the front wrap a scrunchie around it so take the scrunchie wrap it around again it's called pineapple because your hair is supposed to look like a pineapple and then I just throw my scarf on and then that's how I go to sleep wake up in the morning just take it out the pineapple and then put my edge control on so again that's my nighttime routine when I do my twist outs when I do my braid outs when I do my flexi rod sets which well flexi rod sets is a little different um doesn't turn out as well as this does but to see how it looks on day three which is tomorrow just keep watching so now I am back with day four of this wash and go. Sorry, I skipped day three, you guys. Yesterday I just was chilling and I just skipped my mind. It just, I had a scarf on all day. It was one of them scarf on all days. I forgot to actually remove the scarf, but uh, I removed the scarf today on day four and this is what day four is looking like. Let me get all the way up in camera. I hope it's focusing in the front. If you can notice, a lot of the definition is gone, which I'm sad about. But if you notice also, I've been liking it in this fro kind of style as well. Like normally I like a left side part. I like a parted style. But I just been going for it. I just been going for a free form kind of a look with this look. And I kind of like it. The back still has, you know, quite a bit of definition. I'll definitely say that. The back area and the length of it and the volume of it is kind of there. But I'll show you guys how it looks on its final day, which will be tomorrow, which will be day five right now. Woo child. So now coming on here uh, for my final day with this hair or with I always say this hair in these videos like this is not my real hair. Uh, I'm so used to crochet hair reviews. This is how it looks day five. I of course don't like it. It looks big and um, very bushy at this point. It's not uniform. It doesn't have the definition. has the volume. Uh, but uh, yeah I'm going to say this might have been a fail. But I will say that second day it looks so good though. It looks so good that second day and now it's just like a big mess. And it's so weird because I really like the last wash and go I did. So I don't know where kind of I failed in the product. I don't know if it was the wet line. I don't know if it was a deep conditioner. You know when you try new elements you just don't know. I don't know if it's the fact that I just came off of a protective style. My hair needed time to kind of get used to you know being in a central state. I don't know what it is but yeah this wash and go combination. Not the biggest fan of it but I'm going to try again. I'm going to do another wash and go and this time I'm going to use Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft versus Pillow Soft Curls so if you want to be here for that experiment to see how many days I can wear that and if it goes poof ball McGee like this one did make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of that content make sure you have that notification bell on too so you can be alerted as soon as soon as soon as I upload a new video make sure you're following me on Instagram at lelevon89 so you can catch up with my shenanigans in real time and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching Bye. Said I'm in love with